Hey everybody, welcome to day 283 of the Daily Stoic. All right, here's the quote. It's a long one, so pay attention, all right? Leave the past behind. Let the grand design take care of the future. And instead, only rightly guide the present to reverence and justice. Reverence so that you'll love what you've been allotted for. Nature brought you both to each other. Justice so that you'll speak the truth freely and without evasion and so that you'll act only as the law and value of things require marcus aurelius so as i've been pondering this quote today this is a hard one it's taken me a while and and what i think or at least what it means to me is that we need to strive to leave our past behind and we need to strive to work on those two things that Marcus Relius calls out in here, right? About um, persistence and resistance, right? And as we work on those things, we need to think about how we relate those two things to the two other things in here that he mentioned, which was reverence and justice, right? So, as I've been kind of thinking about that, how do we work on those two, or which goes with which? You know, which one, which one goes with which one? So, to help me along, I read what Ryan Holiday had to say here. And I think he sums it up really well right here. Listen to this, what he has to say. This is Ryan Holiday from the book. It says, the two words are persist and resist. That's great advice. But what principles should determine what you persist in and what you ought to resist? It says Marcus really supplies, supplies the answer. Reverence and justice. In other words, virtue. So, if we break down what Ryan had to say right there, you should persist in reverence and you should resist justice, right? So, that was, uh, it was really interesting to me. I was like, so persist in reverence. Hmm. And then I said, whoa, that's, that's kind of hard. So then I went back to the quote, it says, so if we persist in reverence, it says reverence so that you'll love what you've been allotted for nature brought you both to each other. So as far as we um, persist in reverence, what that means is we should persist in loving what we've already been allotted in life. That makes sense, okay. Some of our other Stoic studies have said that to us, so that makes sense. And then the other thing it said that you should resist injustice and I was like huh and then if you go back to the quote it says so resist justice so that you'll speak the truth freely and without evasion and so that you'll act only as the law and values of things require so we should resist like vigilante acts we should resist not we should resist doing things that are not within um, the laws and values of things, right? So, what that means is we shouldn't, you know, seek revenge. We shouldn't um, act out against other people. We shouldn't act of, in aggression towards others if they've done us wrong. So, this is really a hard, hard quote, at least for me. So, that's what I got out of this, though. I would love to hear... When you read this quote, what this quote means to you. So please take some time, read it, think about it, ponder it. Leave your thoughts and comments below this video and, and help me better understand it as well. All right? So until tomorrow, I hope you guys had a great rest of your day. And let's all strive harder each and every day to live life more like a stoic.